This is actually a good city for me because I have kids and uh, you guys have kids, obviously, right? You want to trade? Anybody? <laughs> Straight up. I love my kids. They're uh, very expensive. They're getting, the older they get, the more expensive they get, right? People are putting pressure on me with my son. You know, are you saving up for his college yet? I haven't even paid for my college, man. <laughs> are you kidding? I owe 25 grand in student loans. I'm gonna have to walk him up through the financial aid line to the people I still know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got a tab going, right? We're good. <laughs> yeah, no, turns out I am alive. I <laughs> know, weird. <laughs> boing, boing, my son went to college the other day. But I still have my own student loans to pay Well, the check's in the mail and the bills are due The interest on my loans continues to accrue When you're catching up, Dad, I don't know when But we'll be filing Chapter 10, yeah As I hung up the phone, it occurred to me, my boy makes more than me. He's only 23, and he's living in my house for free. Thank you. I know I'm a fun dad. I think I'm a fun dad. My wife tells me I'm too fun. You ever get that? She says I need to be stricter. The kids need to learn that no means no. And I'm like, you know, what if I'm raising them to be salespeople? <laughs> They're never going to make their quota with that kind of attitude. <laughs> I tell them, you got to get back in there, earn your bonus, you know? <laughs> of course your mom says no. If I got discouraged the first time your mom told me no, you wouldn't even be here right now. <laughs> I miss being a kid, you know, it was fun, mostly, not the bedwetting, everything else was fun. I was, I was a bedwetter for many years as a kid. A lot of us were, right? By applause, former bedwetters, let me hear you, where you at? One table, the rest of you know who you are. At least they admit it, you know? Nobody admits it as a grown-up. When you're a kid, nobody admits it. You think you're the only one. There's no support groups, you know? Hey, stay dry, man, you too. Remember, no beverages after 6 p.m., be strong. The solutions were horrible. My doctor recommended this device called the pad and buzzer. Electricity and urine well, hook me up. I can't believe medical science backed this thing. It's like a moisture sensing pad hooked up to this obnoxious buzzer. I slept right through it, my brother wet his bed. Talk about a lifetime of therapy. Well, I stop wet in the bed. Now every time I hear a car alarm, I strip naked and do the river dance, so. Who do I see about that, Doc? <laughs> this other book actually said, make bedwetting fun. Make it a game to stop wetting the bed, you know, because apparently not waking up and pee wasn't enough incentive to know. <laughs> Come on, anybody who's ever wet the bed, you know, right? One dry day, I was psyched. I ran out in the hallway in my underwear. My sisters are jumping in. Who's that dry boy in the hall? <laughs> High school. <laughs> Subscribe to Dry Bar Comedy for even more of the world's largest collection of clean comedy.